welcome back to the channel. Today, we're at the Great American Outdoor Show here in booth 4114. We have Jeff here as well, Chris behind camera, and today, Shemp, Shemp behind yeah. camera. You'll meet Shemp one day. Um, today's video, we want to talk about fertilizer, granular fertilizer, and a lot of people don't realize that fertile, you know, you buy 50 pound bags, it actually goes by percentages. Correct. So if you buy a you know, well, people go buy, say, uh, 4600 urea. Right. They'll think they're getting 46 pounds of nitrogen. They're not. They're getting 46 percent of it. And the rest is filler. And the rest is filler. Correct. A lot of salts and different, you know, different things like right. that. And it's not, you know. So if you will get a 10, 10, 10, you're getting 10 percent of that 50 pounds. Right. So you're getting five pounds yep. of N, P, and K. So 15 pounds of fertilizer. Yeah. So, so when you get a soil sample that recommends 300 pounds of fertilizer. Yeah. Well, it, it, the best thing about when you look at a fertilizer. Most time it's a split application, right. most of the time, if not all the time, because you can't feed the plant everything it needs for four, five, six months at one feeding. At one shot, yeah. Right, you don't eat dinner once a day, I right. mean once a year, you, you eat throughout, you right. know. You gotta feed it over time. Exactly. So the, the percentage, what a lot of people do, instead of getting a 10, 10 or a 13, whatever, they'll get the percentage that they need mm -hmm. in poundage mm -hmm. to fit, their, you say you need 40 pounds of P and you need 80 pounds of K, you know, then you're going to get a, a fertilizer that meets that goal. Exactly. You know, and with the low end, you know, because certain plants don't need a lot of nitrogen. Mm -hmm. You know, all plants need nitrogen. Right. They do it. They need it, but they don't need as much as say soybeans, or, you know, or corn. I'm sorry, or whatever. Or brass it's it's or yeah. But gran granular feeding, you know, when you when you go to plant a food plot, you make sure your pH is right. Then you get fertilizer, and we like to do it. You know, if in the farming world, you put it in a furrow or you put a two by two, you put it alongside the plant, the seed, I should say, or with the seed. It depends what you're doing. But in in the, in the whitetail world, where you you know you're doing food plots, you try you try and get it as close. So, for instance, uh, potassium doesn't move through, it doesn't move through the soil like you know right. it, it, it stays potash. It stays right. So if you can turn that in or drag it in where it's level with the seed, it doesn't move as like a lot of things. Nitrogen moves a lot. The other stuff doesn't move as much. So the closer you can have it to that plant, the better off you are. And that's one reason we like foiler feeding is because if the fertilizer, you, you're gonna get, you know, root goes here, goes there, and gets it all here and there, but it's not gonna get enough for the whole cycle. And so we like to foiler feed after we do that. So we cut the granular fertilizer in half yeah, and what they recommend. Explain that a little bit more, because I had some people ask me about that, on how you save, you, use, you spend the same amount of money. Yes but you split it with half the recommended up front with granular and come back in for the correct. How does that benefit the plant or and the animals? Well, what happens is this is not a this is not a one and a done thing. What happens is over time you're getting your pH and your fertility up in your soil, mm -hmm. right? You can't just go throw everything in there. It's all good. We're done. We're never going to do it again. Right. So every time you plant, you put a little bit of NPK in there, whatever whatever your, you know, soil asks for, you just cut that in half. Because it's not going to take it all at once. It's, right. it, every cat, I understand, everything's different. Washed off. Yeah, all off. The, right on down. There's a million variables, and then some places are sugar sand. Just go. Shh. So if you go in there, full, yeah. Shh. So if you go in there, full or feed after granular, you know, when the plants emerge, now you're getting it 24/7. Yeah. And then the next time you go plant, you turn that in. You plant yeah. again. You throw a little more grain, you know, a little more, a little more, a little more every time, and that's been the best avenue because now you have it with the seed. As the seed is growing that root base, that fertilizer is right there with it so it can pick it up. Yep. And it helps on the early stage of growth. And then it, that fuel is going to run out. And then, you know, run down the line, you well, just I pull like, feed. I like how you can mix the antler grow and the fertilizer together. together. Yes. And it already has that sticker in there. Yes. So you can feed the plant. It, it A long that time. Leaf and it feeds the plant over time. Every time it dews or, right. or rains or any kind of moisture, it sucks it in and it just feeds that plant. And the cool thing about this, the sticker is Argosy, we're just talking about that. So it grows with the plant, so it's like an elastic, it grows with the plant. Right. So even if a deer comes by and takes a bite, it grows back with the plant on that next, you know, right. that young exactly. tender stuff coming. Yeah. 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 All right guys, thanks for watching. Any questions, leave a comment down below and we'll be bringing you videos all throughout the show. See you guys.